Hello again, it's Mike with Great Rock Real Estate, and uh, this is, uh, I believe, the fourth in a series of five short videos on uh, how to, how to uh, value income producing commercial real estate. There is also a sixth longer video that kind of puts everything together, drills down a little bit deeper, gives you some examples, etc. And also a seventh where we actually analyze the deal. I would encourage you to watch them all. And by the end, you'll pretty much be, I wouldn't say an expert, but you'll be very knowledgeable on how to value income producing real estate. So let's talk about cash flow. Cash flow, this is why we're in it. I mean, everybody likes cash flows. Mailbox money, cash in your pocket, allows you to retire early and with residual income. So you can retire, live, hopefully just about anywhere you want. But uh, this is what it all comes down to. This is why we're in it. And cash flow to me is E39 minus E41. So, um, I mean, joking aside, what it really is is NOI minus debt service. But in my spreadsheet that I use to analyze, and it is a very comprehensive spreadsheet, I think it's four or five tabs total, and it can be as complex or as simple as you want to make it. Um, but this is where it is in, in my spreadsheet. And if you want a copy of my spreadsheet, towards the end of the, uh, the sixth video, I tell you how you can get that and uh, for free, and uh, it is quite uh, valuable. And then in the seventh, uh, where we actually do a deal, I will be showing you how to use that spreadsheet. So that way you can jump right into it, because like I said, it can be pretty comprehensive. So a little tutorial would always help as well. But NOI, as we've talked about before, um, we don't really need to drill down anymore on that, minus the debt service. And people say, oh my gosh, debt service, I don't want to borrow money, I want to pay cash for my properties. Well, that's a mistake. Paying cash for a property, depending, it's not always a mistake, depending on where you are in your investing life cycle, but uh, unless you're towards the very end, where cash flow is, is the total king, um, and uh, basically no risk, in other words, the properties are paid for, that's about the only time that you would want to get rid of debt service. And just a small exercise uh, that I would challenge you to do uh, to see how valuable debt service is, is uh, if you were to take $100,000 that you had to invest, and that's all you had, and you were to buy one house, just making this a really simple exercise, buy one house, and then what would the rent be on that house? So take that figure, and then use debt service and buy five houses with that $100,000, $20,000 down on each of the five houses, and then still using the same rent only across five houses, and do the math on that income, that rent across those five houses versus what the debt service would be on those five houses, and you'll be very surprised. Debt service is a good thing use it. So anyway, that's really, a, in a nutshell, what cash flow is, uh, is all about. Um, it's just the, the NOI, uh, whether it be adjusted or you know raw, and uh, minus the debt service comes up with your cash flow. Pretty straightforward. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.